Hello everyone and welcome back to another part of Let's Play Eador, Masters of the Broken World on Overlord Difficulty. In the previous part we finally managed to conquer our first Elm province. And um, thanks to that, at least for now, we solved our problem with the lack of targets. Uh, in this part I will focus on this province, fight as much as possible here, even though this is Elven Forest. Uh, the, the province type is a plane, so planes we should be able to explode really fast and I'm hoping that uh, we will get some good targets here and speed up the leveling process uh, thanks to that. And I really want to fight as much as possible in this part. Uh, maybe one more thing before I start playing. Uh, I'd like to answer again some comments from under the previous part. Uh, there's two things I want to answer. First was, uh, yeah, why I didn't shoot with uh, an imp in uh, the Elm fight. There was one moment where it was uh, really obvious that the best solution would be to use a magic missile with an imp. But uh, I don't know if it's just uh, me or if anyone else has the problem. Uh, when I move an imp into melee range, from that mo of that moment on, I can't use magic missile anymore, even though I still have it. So in that fight what happened, I needed to block a unit with my imp, so I moved it uh, in melee range. Then I moved it away later, but I wasn't able to shoot with him anymore. There is even a moment in the fight where I'm trying to target a unit like three times, but the cursor doesn't change to the ranged one, so I give it up. So I didn't forget about the magic missile, uh, just I wasn't able to do it. So let me know if you have the same problem, or if I'm just doing something wrong. So that's one thing, and the second thing is, before the uh, the fight with elves, I was talking about uh, who goes first, and that I'm not sure who goes first. Uh, I wasn't talking about which army goes first, I know which army goes first. Uh, uh, I was talking about the order of uh, units within the enemy's army, uh, how they will uh, how they will attack or move. Because there is was important for my positioning. If I knew the order at uh, which opponent's units will go, I would be able to position my units better. Uh, because uh, you know there is the thing with uh, with fairy using the haste on a unit. If the fairy uses it first, then it's a problem. If they first move and then the fairy casts, it's much easier. So that's what I was talking about. It's, that it's impossible to say which unit is gonna go first, and it sometimes is pretty important if you could, uh, you know, could uh, say that. So uh, those two things I wanted to answer, and I think now we can start playing and really get. Uh, uh, get f as far as possible. Okay, so we already have a target. Uh, these orcs. Okay, I'm fine with that. Uh, you can keep exploring. And can we build anything? Nothing here, and nothing in the capital. Uh, okay, so I think we can just end the turn. Nothing else to do here. So let's go. Uh, come on, why is it taking so long? Okay, here we go. Mm, yeah, that should be fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> we can move forward. Should probably move this guy back. Actually, this guy could be in trouble in this fight if uh, those witch doctors. Uh, that should be two, I think, in, tier, in uh, tier two our orc army. If they focus on him, they could actually kill him. That would be quite unfortunate, losing a unit versus orcs. But well, mm, let's start. We'll see. I'll focus those orcs, those savage doctors, with the hero if I have to. Okay, start. Um, okay, here they are. Well, since they are the only two units in the range of my hero, I will start attacking them anyway. And let's see what they're gonna do. No, they're focusing on the hero. So that should be fine. And let's check actually who has forced march. This guy and the witch doctor I don't have to worry about. Okay, maybe... 
maybe I'll swap my focus to club throwers. They'll be the first capable of attacking. So let's start with this guy. Give him the damage armor debuff. And attack. Okay. By the way, if you see, so, uh, if you hear some weird noises, it's my cat. She decided to come check uh, what I'm doing. So some weird noise in the mic. That that's her trying to play with me. Okay, go away. That's enough. Good. So we can we can play again. Um, we can't reach any, anything else. So let's end the turn. Uh, what about this? Okay, this guy has to die. Where is the one with the forest march? Uh, all the way back. Good, so here they can't get to me yet. So let's uh, finish off the club thrower and now I'll start doing some damage to this guy. Good, next. Now, I think I have enough damage down here easily. Okay. Hmm. Let's try to get a last hit for a hero. Soften him up, up uh, even more, and there is another one down. Okay, can you guys reach him? You can. So. Well, here I should probably start attacking this guy because he has the forest march. Uh, okay, I'll try to get the last hit for the hero on this one, not on both. One, two, three, there we go. Okay, now it should be really quite easy to get the last hit for the hero. Um, so, anything interesting from the fight? On level up, you'll get hit points, of course, same for you. Uh, sacred Monastery, we don't need Sabres, crap, well, we are going for uh, the experience, so any useful loot is uh, like a bonus, the most important thing really are experience. So, let's keep going, and what do we have here? More locations, okay, two more, perfect, that's what I was hoping for. Uh, what was that? Uh, goblins, gargoyles, okay, I don't want to attack goblins if I can avoid it. It's possible to do them without losses, we know that already, but uh, it all depends on the, uh, the AI if it decides to uh, to leave or my units alive or uh, if it decides to kill one of them. Uh, we can attack gargoyles though, that shouldn't be that hard. And um, anything we can do here, I should really build a pub that will improve the population mood, so even though we have elves here that we conquered uh, uh, recently, they are already just discontent, so population problems, uh, or population mood problems solved. Uh, 265 gold. I should probably check, uh, oh, come on, not this. Uh, buildings. Uh, there was something I really wanted to build. Uh, yeah, first is a market to get storehouses so I can uh, repair my gear um, in provinces. And then I was thinking about getting the Illusionist Guild to get access to Illusionary Battle to further uh, speed up the, the leveling. So I'll save gold for that. I don't think we really need anything else. Maybe some better guards, but. Um, that's a lot of gold, so it uh, depends on uh, on what kind of targets we're gonna get, how uh, how juicy the rewards will be. Okay, gargoyles. I'm double checking everything. I really don't want to 
forget something and yeah, end the turn. Mm, only two, okay. I was hoping for three. And they're down here, which means I should probably move down at least with some units. And let's say like this. Okay. We're actually doing quite a lot of damage. Um, let's finish the first one with crossbows. And um, can I get the last hit for the hero? It should be possible. Come on, you can do it. Yep, there we go. Okay, uh, no level ups, uh, some more money, and uh, the loot again, nothing really interesting. Mm, abandoned farm, and nothing else. Okay, uh, what do we have? Uh, especially boots. Oh, we have Manticore boots. Okay, so this is all crap. Um, mm -hmm. 400. I think that. Uh, I can build a market. And do we have enough for the storehouse? We do. So let's build it. Now I will sell all of this. It's 50. And it's still not enough. 51? Really? sleep. Uh, I think that I can sell that. Uh, since I'm going after the illusionist guild as fast as possible, I will get access to sleep from my buildings. So I, yeah, I can do it and I can repair right now. Okay, so we are back uh, to like almost uh, no gold, but um, here is repaired. Uh, what do we have here? I didn't check. Oh, we have a new target. Perfect. Undead. That should be easy. And hopefully we'll get some more gold now. Uh, keep exploring. Hmm, maybe I should use the Chalice of Light. Uh, yeah, we still need some healing. By the way, I'm sorry if I sound a bit distracted, but my cat is really annoying now. Okay, uh, let's try to finish this part, <laughs> and next time I will, I will, you know, close the door or something because this is this is impossible. So, healing, chalice of life, for the commander. Yeah, that's a bit better. And and the turn. Okay, that's easy. Tier two on that. That's really not a problem. And I think I'll move up. I prefer um, starting in the northern corner. Really like this positioning a lot uh, more. So. Uh, let's see. Okay. Attack the ghoul. I'll just let them come. Okay. First, I need to make sure that the ghoul is not going to cause any trouble. Come on, kill him. Nope. 
There we go, and you guys should be able to kill the ghoul. Good. Next. Okay, last hit for a hero. Let's make sure it's gonna be a last hit. Okay. Now it's gonna be a last hit for the hero. And here I should have enough units in the range to kill this guy. And we can do some damage to the zombie. Good. This should be a last hit. Uh, you are still too far away. Okay, now it should work, and that should be another last hit for the hero. There we go. Okay, good. Uh, and here we have some level ups. Uh, stamina for you. Oh, and that's it. Okay, never mind. 126 and some creepy items again, so we'll sell that. And uh, more locations with some extra experience. Okay, keep exploring. And here we have problems with cobalt in our mines. So let's try to use our gems. And I think that I don't want to have any problems in, in my provinces. And I can avoid it. I'll just hire healers. Like spending uh, extra 20 gems is now not a problem at all. So let's go. And uh, what's the new target? Undead again. Go, go. That's really not a problem. It's not the best target because it's not uh, uh, that much experience. But um, yeah, still better than those T1 fights we've been doing for so long. And uh, yeah, at least it's something. Okay. Nothing important here. Let's just go, I would say. Do we have um, all the important buildings everywhere? What's this? Don't have any buildings here. Oh, probably an earthquake I missed. It destroyed all the buildings. Okay, well, let's rebuild it. And end the turn. Okay, the same fight basically again. So, even the positioning is the same, so let's, <laughs> let's do it. Same as before. Okay, one, two. Come on, you can do it. Good. One, two. Oh, wait. How is it possible that this skeleton is, uh, is so close? One, two, three. Really? One hit point? Come on. Well, it seems that our hero will take some damage. But we have a first strike. What's our what's our counter attack? Ten. Maybe the maybe the ghoul is not gonna attack. Or if he is, he may die. Actually, he has no defense. Hmm. Let's see. Is he gonna attack or not? Yes, he is, and he's gonna die. Oh, okay. That works as well. Now... Let's try to give all the last hits to the hero. You know, really have to uh, boost him as much as possible. His damage is uh, really helpful and we can boost it to some crazy numbers. I had uh, ranged commanders capable of doing like 50 damage with a shot. So, with hero like that, 
uh, really becomes much easier. I don't think that we will be able to get uh, him uh, that high uh, on this shard, but it's possible to really push it a lot. Okay, and there we go. What do we have? Banner of Courage. Well, Banner is good, but not a Banner of Courage because that just gives plus one morale to all units, and um, we'd have to use this instead of our first strike weapon. So um, I think we'll just sell this. This is one of the worst banners. So yeah, never mind. For a second, I was like, "Oh, we have a banner," but yeah, this is not the one. Okay, uh, no more targets. That's uh, a little bit annoying. We are exploring seven percent every turn and didn't get anything. Mm, come on. Okay, keep exploring. What do we have here? Mm. Damian uh, has uh, is in low spirit today. Okay, I usually solve this just with the display ritual. Uh, if I can afford it, and um, here I will just do it the usual way. You really don't have any problems with gems, so let's do it. And now is a question: What are you gonna do? You don't have uh, new targets, and uh, that leaves us just with the uh, those goblins. That's a question: If I want to uh, do goblins or not? You have one turn for where variants. I was considering another option uh, before I started recording. If we don't get enough targets, that I will use fair winds and um, attack this province. Uh, with fair winds, it should just take one turn to get there, and there are two targets. But it's still on cooldown, so for one turn, um, I'd rather fight than move somewhere. Uh, attacking this province uh, would be probably a bad idea because we would attack from planes. That means no cover for us, uh, ra uh, range disadvantage, really big range disadvantage. We uh, wouldn't be standing on the hills. You know, if you remember the fight from the previous part, it worked because we had hills on our side and they di did not. So uh, we compensated for their range advantage with those uh, with those hills. And without that, uh, it would be still really bad for us I think so the best option here are those goblins I would say uh, we have um, replacement unit in uh, scouts army because I think that I expected I'm gonna lose something uh, while I was conquering the province uh, managed to do it without losses so we still have uh, like uh, one reserve unit with us so if I lose a unit uh, because of the alchemist I don't have to, you know, go to the capital to replace it. So I think I will attack those goblins just to keep fighting. Yeah, 300. That's um, still not enough. I think maybe I can build up up and keep going. No rituals. Okay, and turn. Okay, no surprise here. So let's check the alchemist if he has the uh, uh, maybe first position of the units. Yeah, I think I will leave it like this. Um, it doesn't matter what I do. Uh, it's just completely. Uh, AI's decision uh, what's gonna be the target so even if I hide my weaker units still can attack them so I can you know, just leave it like this uh, start the fight and do you buddy have uh, the asset you do so again how is it gonna be maybe actually I could web him. That would it help? It will just delay the attack.
I can't do anything to, to like guarantee that he won't be able to use that asset. Another option would be just to attack uh, like this guy and hope that uh, instead of using the asset he would heal him. Uh, and you know then do the same thing on the next turn that he would heal again and that would you know make sure that he won't be able to to use that asset but that's most lo most likely not gonna happen or it's not guaranteed I can web him but uh, yeah then I would have the same uh, same problem next turn I can use a, uh, use imp and uh, try uh, to move him in melee range but um, first he would most likely die from other attacks and uh, that alchemist can just you know use that acid anyway so not guaranteed that uh, there would be anything different I'll just leave it like this attack that uh, alchemist most likely and see what's gonna happen okay and and the turn what's it gonna be Oh, there we go, attack the hero. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to position the hero always as the closest units to uh, these alchemists and uh, dangerous ranch units. It often happens that they just prioritize him. So, it worked here, and that alchemist is not a problem anymore. Now, I even have to, you know, change the focus completely. Uh, kill this guy, and this one. Three. Hmm. Maybe I'll even attack the the basilisk. Yeah, whatever. I just wanted to have the debuff on him. Uh, can I kill the spitter? I can. Perfect. Now. Do as much damage as possible to the basilisk, and we should be fine. Okay, that slug is still out of range. Um, one, two, three. Is it enough? It's not, but I think I can leave him like this and hope that I'll be able to eventually kill him with the hero. Um. You'll attack the slug and oh, let's actually get rid of the of the basilisk. There is the last hit, and that's the end of the fight. Okay, so again we managed to survive uh, goblins, but yeah, all because uh, the AI always decides to attack the wrong targets. Okay, anything interesting here? Oh, that's a good level up. Wrench to attack, definitely. Some ammo for you. And some extra gold. Good, and we have uh, more locations. Abandoned temple. That sounds interesting. And... What's this? Oh, another earthquake? Really? We just build those buildings here. Well, did you lose anything? I think we lost the mill. Yeah, we did. Okay, well, let's rebuild it. And what was the temple? Oh, Cult of the Hydra. Well, that definitely is interesting, but. Uh, uh, later. It's not that hard for this army, um, but uh, yeah, you need to be like um, level ten with your crossbows, uh, and uh, have a stronger hero. The Hydra is not a problem at all. It's slow moving, and uh, you get so many attacks on it that. Um, two or three turns it just melts. The problem would be that together the cult of the hydro has like 15 units and you just get overwhelmed. We also don't have um, enough ammo for this yet. But we actually might be able to get to this fight on this shard. But that's, um, that's later. For now we again have the same problem that we 
uh, that we don't have anything to attack. Hmm. So is it going to be the plan B moving up? How is it? Sixty-eight percent. How does it look like with our? Oh, we are so close to level eleven. I really don't want to split my heroes now because if we get the level up, uh, or when we get the level up, we can get command, and uh, this next command would be one extra unit, and we could take the crossbowman here. So I really would like to to keep my heroes together. Oh, waste the turn for just exploration with both heroes, or use the fair wind and keep fighting. Um, I think I will explore for my for one turn. I really want to get the level up while I have my heroes together, you know, really just in case I get the, the command. <laughs> but I think I will um, think about this um, a bit more off camera. Uh, this part is already long enough. I'm sorry for those distractions uh, caused by my pet but uh, yeah mistakes mistakes next time I'll make sure that she can't get to me and um, uh, I hope you like this part uh, it wasn't uh, some super tough fights but these fights are, are important it's giving us gold and um, experience so we are still getting stronger and stronger in the next part we will continue with farming um, and uh, yeah, I'll tell you my decision if I'm gonna stay here, uh, explore with both heroes, or just move to this uh, to this province. Uh, I I'm considering this not just because you know it'd be another fight, but because you also be closer to this province with the tenor store with halflings, and I want to attack this uh, this tenor store uh, as soon as possible. So I could do this, um, you know, after I clear. Uh, clear those locations uh, in this province, and, but I don't think that uh, uh, that interesting listening to this uh, considerations. I can do that off camera. So yeah, I hope you'll join me again for the next part. And until then, have a good time and bye bye.